welcome back. All right, so today I'm gonna to show you how you can use Affinity Designer to create circular text or text that follows a shape path. Now, quick side note, this does not work in Procreate or in Affinity Photo. It only works in Affinity Designer. Now, it also works in Photoshop. Obviously, it's gonna be a little different to how you get there, but I really thought that Photo would have this feature but it doesn't, so we're gonna have to do it in Designer. So let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so I've got Designer here loaded up. I am doing this on my iPad Pro. Um, this does work on pretty much any iPad at this point. So what you wanna do is start with a blank canvas, and then over here on the right, you have one that looks like a lowercase a, and this is where you would select your font, your size, your color, that sort of thing. Now you can do this later, but if you wanted to just get that set up out of the way now, this is where you would do it. So the way that we're gonna do this is we're gonna go down here to this shape tool. If you long press, then it brings up all these different shapes that you can use to make these. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the circle because it's honestly the one that I find myself needing the most. So I'm gonna take my stylus, touch and drag. Now see how it's editable like this? So if you take this finger on your other hand and just touch the screen, it'll make it a perfect circle, which is what I want. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then just let go and you're left with a circle. First thing you're gonna notice, hey, it's filled in gray. It doesn't matter because right now it's a shape, but we're gonna turn it into a shape path. So I'm gonna go ahead on the left here, there's a capital A right underneath your shape tool. And this is your artistic text tool. So when you tap this, then you wanna tap the outer perimeter of your circle. And it's gonna give you a text box and bring up this text um, keyboard. Now you can type here, obviously, or you can also copy and paste text either from another document or um, like the web, wherever you would have it. So now from here, I can highlight this text by just touching and dragging like this. And then you can adjust, this is the other space that I was telling you, you can adjust your fonts at. So you can just scroll through here, pick one that you like, and we'll just go with this one. And then you can obviously change your um, pixel size, font size, <laughs> and uh, color though you have to do from over here on the left or on the right, you would just touch and then you can select a different color. So then I'm gonna drop the keyboard down. Now, right now I can grab this green triangle to say where I want it to be, but you see that red triangle at the bottom? If I drag it to that, watch what happens. It puts it on the inside. Now the way to get this last letter, which would be the first letter in your sentence into that spot, the way that I do it, I just add a space in front and then I can drag it inside and then you can pull it around like that. So you can adjust the size of your circle with this bottom one here. And then you can also rotate using this one here. And now we have a circular piece of text. Now, this does also work if you use your pen tool. So if I go to this pencil right here, and I'm just gonna draw just a wavy like that. See how it's already turned into a shape path? So now I can go to my text tool, touch the line, change that size, cause wow. And we'll say, pubes is the best ferret ever period. Now with this one, this green line is gonna move the text along. And if I want it on the underside, I just keep pushing. Same as before. So now let's say you have this done, but you're like, oh, it's not quite perfect. I wanna change it or whatever. So you can select your node tool, which is this little arrow here tap the one you want, and then you see all these little circles, these are your nodes. So you can touch one and adjust it. Touch and adjust, just like that, see? And then this piece is gonna drag your 
text along so that you can get it exactly how you want it to be. Just like that. So it's pretty easy. Now I will say that designer is a little intimidating um, coming into it. The way that I have learned this program is basically by I need to know how to do this. So then I look up how do I do just this one thing so I don't get overwhelmed or confused by all of the options that are here. So that's how I learned how to do this because I was trying to make circular text in Procreate, which there should be a way to do it. Um, but again, as of the time of filming this video, there's not. So I was like, okay, so how do I do it in Affinity Photo then? Thinking that Photo is similar to Photoshop, which it is, but not this similar, I guess, because you can't do it there either. So I was like, okay, can designer do it? And yeah, very easily. So that is how I make my circular text or path text in designer. I hope this video wasn't too confusing. Um, yeah, and if you guys want to see any other affinity tutorials, let me know what you want to know. And I will, if I don't know it, I will learn it because I need to buckle down and learn these programs. I know Photoshop inside and out, but Photoshop, Photoshop on the tablet is really lacking. So yeah, let me know what you guys think and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.